So welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. Today we are going to see a small video on induction training. Induction training is very important and as you are seeing here, it is mainly for the beginner that is who has just joined or started his work in your organization. He may be experienced person or he may be a newcomer in your organization. The induction training is must. What is the induction training? In human resource development, induction training is a form of introduction for new employees in order to enable them to do their work in a new profession or job role within an organization. Training can be systematic or unsystematic training. Induction training is systematic training because it is giving that person an idea about his work culture in the new organization. So you can see here a picture or you can see a slide where you can see induction training giving lot of things which are been, uh, we, we can say which are important uh, aspect of induction training. So let us understand what is induction training. Induction training a company runs only when its employees are well settled in to the firm. All pressures must go through induction training. So whenever employee comes to your organization as a newcomer, unless and until he is well not well settled, your, his work will not be effective and you will not get a benefit from that employee. So it is very important to get that employee uh, properly trained as soon as possible so that he will get more and more benefit from that particular employee. So induction and staff training is very important to have proper induction training and for that it is important to plan it properly. Uh, planning induction training is important because uh, the orienting and inducting staff to agency a way of planning to maximize staff performance. So it will help you in improving the staff performance. Secondly is importantly because the new worker or new employee are successfully integrated in your workspace only after uh, effective induction training to him. And third and important thing is induction training program will ensure that the new employee contributes as quickly as possible because you are already paying on him. So it is very important that he will come to your, uh, you can say, uh, effective working as soon as possible so that you will not waste money on him. What is induction training? As we understand, induction training is given to the every new employee at the time of arrival and before the start of actual work. This work, this will help all new employee to understand the company culture, safety and the working procedures, responsibility and authority and also the legal and statutory requirements to make sure he work efficiently from day one. So it is very important to give those ideas to the newcomer in the induction training. Normally induction training includes various different types of training which will help them to improve the working efficiency. So we are going to see which are these uh, types of training. Normally induction training includes various different types of training which helps him to work improve his working efficiency. Number one is safety instructions. Number two is general instructions. Number three is work instructions and number four is responsibility and authority matrix. So safety instructions, it is the most important factor as any employee when enters the company premises. First and foremost important thing is to know safety instructions, safety training to get confidence to start his work with a safe environment. So safety first is very important. So your uh, induction training also starts from the safety. You have to give him proper instruction about the safety in your organization. Safety rules, safety matrix, safety uh, appliances, all those things you have to uh, give him a proper training while uh, before he starts working. It is important for HR and organization to train the new employee for the safety of a person, product and equipment. So not only uh, safety of person but product safety and equipment safety is also similarly important. Training regarding firefighting, safety, and how he can respond to the emergency issues at workspace helps him understand in handling the situation. So it is very important not only to train him about the safety but firefighting and how he can respond to the emergency issues has to be 
ट्रेड हिम टू हेल्प हिम टू हैंडल एनी वी कैन से इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन इफ इट हैपन्स इन द फ्यूचर सेकेंड इज जनरल इंस्ट्रक्शन जनरल इंस्ट्रक्शन आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट टू शेयर विद द न्यू एम्प्लॉयज which includes mainly organization strategies like in time time out lunch time working hours dress code legal and statutory instructions etc which would help him to adhere the company rules and regulations and policies as per strategy so it is important to understand what is in time what is out time what are the procedures uh, while mat in incoming material what is the procedure for the outgoing material dress code legal statutory instructions all those things will help him to improve his uh, uh, we can say behavior as a employee in your company by following all those rules and regulation as per the company strategy or company policy work instruction this is a very important factor because now we are moving to his workspace area where he is actually performing his work he will be staying there for maybe 7 hours or 8 hours in a day so next important factor is to give him a training or we can say on job training we can say uh, the training for the actual working instructions so how he should perform the work what are the uh, important factors what are the important control plans what are the important uh, we can say uh, processes he has to follow how he has to perform the actual work how he has to perform the actual process all those things you have to give him proper training this is most important training to the employee as it will directly affect his performance of the employee this training will help him to work as per standard working instruction and sops so he has to give training as per work instruction sops control plans uh, all those things uh, with working machines the maintenance of the machine preventive maintenance all those things we have to give him proper training so training uh, on job training we can say is uh, like that training has has to be given to the employee before he start working actually on the shop floor so this is nothing but work instructions training on we can say induction training next is responsibility matrix this is another area for a new employee to understand organization hierarchy structure and understand the responsibilities at his work and authority he has to offer by the organization so here he should understand the responsibility matrix to whom he is going to report who is going to report him as well so what are the what are his responsibilities what are his authorities and he can understand those responsibility authorities so that he can perform better while working actually in the shop floor here employee understand the the to whom he should report and get responded to the problem faster so this is another one of the checklists were about the new uh, induction training program what he has to be trained for is a training uh, induction training to the organization provide him overview of organization so he should understand the history of the organization then educate new employee on the laws regulations and company policies uh, that applies their roles so that is another area uh, job position explain him roles uh, that has to be play and achieve the organization's goals so understanding the company policy and company's goal are very important inform the financial uh, financial benefits and different taxation policies then performance and work schedule the training on on job training we can say the schedules of organization etc then the safety and security that already we have discussed upon so all these thing he has to understand and work accordingly the conclusion success of any organization is on the ability and the competency and the skills of employees they are always assets for any organization so to make them more competent and skillful it is very important to have properly planned and organized induction training program at all the levels at the beginning or at his joining time so the importance of the induction training is very high and high for any organization to get successful so it is important to have good induction training to get proper competent skillful employee for your organization it will help you 
in your growth so thank you very much for your patient hearing and hope you understand it and will implement it in your organization as well thank you